Now there's a bunch of reflexes that are mediated by our, by our cranial nerves. And if you know the function of each of your nerves, then this becomes very, very easy. If you don't, then learn the function and don't memorize this chart at all. Please do not memorize this chart. It's just there to verify what you should already know uh, once you know what each reflex does. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna describe to you what each, what each reflex does and you're gonna test yourself on uh, which nerves will be the afferent, afferent cranial nerve, which is going to the brain, and which one's the efferent nerve that's coming back out. So the pupillary reflex um, input is light, and then the response is, um, is that your pupils will constrict, okay? So which nerve senses light? Well, that's cranial nerve two. It's very easy. And then which nerve is responsible for pupillary constriction? Well, that's, the question is, is that a sympathetic or parasympathetic response answer? It's a parasympathetic because we're in, um, it's a rest and digest, so you're chilling, so you don't need all that light, so it's um, parasympathetic. And that's cranial nerve three, okay? Next is lacrimation reflex. Um, the cause of this is irritation of cornea will lead to crying, so tears. So what is sensation of the cornea? Well, remember facial sensation is cranial nerve five and uh, remember there's the three divisions. So which division was it? It's the first division, the ophthalmic division. And then what produces crying or tears? Remember that cranial nerve 7 it has its parasympathetic effects. There's tears and salivation along with salivations from cranial nerve um, 7 as well as cranial nerve 9. Okay, so the corneal reflex is similar. It's you stimulate corneal, cornea, and then your response, so you get blinking. Note that you, you will have to memorize all of this, what each reflex means. So you will have to know that the corneal reflex is due to stimulation of the cornea leading to blinking. Um, so do memorize that. Once you memorize those, then the cranial, nerve, cranial nerves involved will become very easy. So again, stimulation of the cornea is V1, very simple. And then blinking, what leads to blinking? Again, that's cranial nerve seven. Um, and note this is a bilateral response. Okay. So the jaw jerk reflex, you tap the jaw and you get slight closure. Okay, so tapping the jaw, what is sensation for that? How do you sense that? Remember that's cranial, that's the, again, that's the trigeminal nerve, but which branch was that? And the jaw was the mandibular section, so V3. And then how do you close the jaw? That's what's the motor in innervation for that? Remember that's actually, again, that's trigeminal nerve. It's the motor branch of V3, because remember that was for also involved in chewing. Finally, the gag reflex, you stimulate the pharynx. You get gag. Well, what was sensation for the pharynx again? Well, that was cranial nerve nine. And then what was responsible for the gag reflex? That was cranial nerve 10. So I have walked you now through all the cranial nerve reflexes. Just remember this section and remember the cranial nerve functions, which you're gonna, which you're gonna have to memorize no matter what. And you don't, this will all just come together. All, of, all the rest of this, the afferent and efferent nerves are easy peasy. Don't have to memorize them.